Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? A bitch is back. I'm here with another card of the day. I know I've been kind of slacking with the card of the day, but I haven't really been led to do it. So that's my thing. So I've been doing reminders. I've been doing check-ins. I've even been telling you what I'm doing, you know, on, on the side. You know, all these brands are sending me some stuff. If you, if you saw it, you know, you know, go check out. I even posted this everywhere. You can find me on multiple social media platforms, the Almighty Pineapple LLC, on the YouTube channel, Readings by Vida, on TikTok, X, and Instagram. I am very verified on x and instagram don't know how to verify myself yet on tiktok tiktok is being a little bitch about it i have to submit all these damn articles but it's crazy i have over five thousand followers already on tiktok so i don't know but anyway thank you for liking following and sharing and subscribing wherever you're at whatever platform you're at thank you for being here this is not a reading a reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice hopefully led by your intuition as i always say your intuition is your superpower everyone's born with intuition and empathy not everyone listens to it as you can state see the state of the world it's a shit show it really is but that's okay Let's focus on the card of the day. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademarked, copyrighted, and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. The card of the day is going to be coming from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. A couple of quick reminders just letting you know that next Monday is the full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces. I do not work on any eclipses i don't care if it's a partial eclipse i don't care if it's a full eclipse i don't care full moon new moon i don't care we're not doing that i am cuban indigenous yo soy cubana indígena, and i honor the indigenous ways okay we do not we me and my family we do not spiritual work is not conducted during eclipses aligning with our ancestral practices for emotional clearing and resetting the eclipses are heavy enough why would you do extra shit on the eclipse? Why? Why? But why? The math ain't mathing, but why? Okay, but the areas of intention that we're going, to, we're going to be doing, it's on Monday, but I'm going to be doing it on the 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to start around that time, I believe, or maybe 9 p.m. I think I have a client that night. That's fine. I'm going to do it anyway. It's a six to eight hour ritual. I show you a private video of the candles. I give you a breakdown of what the candles are doing by video. I also give you a video of the astrological breakdown as well. The moon, the planets, whatever, the fixed stars, if we have any. And then I also give you a reading. That is $15.51 per person. Members of I Am The Ultra, this is free for you. This is part of your membership. I also have a community ritual subscription. It's $25 a month for at least two moon cycles. Some months we have three. So it's $25 a month versus the $15.51 every two weeks. Whatever you want to do. Um, but the areas of intention that we're going to be covering for this lunar eclipse is going to be on Tuesday. We're still in the full moon magic phase. Full moon magic is three nights board before the full moon, the night of the full moon, and three nights after. So we're still in that powerful phase. So we're going to be focusing on balance, courage, strength, patience, clarity, and peace of mind. Hope as well. Sorry. Hope and peace of mind. But again, there's a lot. So let's get into it. This is going to be coming from the Oracle of the Seven Energies Oracle Deck. So let's see, what do we need for the card of the day? It is March 21st, 2024. What do we need for the card of the day? What do we need for the card of the day? What do we need for the card of the day? What do we need for the card of the day? Then flip. Then flip. They're not flipping. I need a card flip, please. Thank you. Listen to me. Telling them what I want. How dare I. You know you can do that though, right? Hello. Now they said, now, now, now handle that. Okay. We got like 10. Okay, first of all, I think they're showing off. They're all these flipped. There's no way. Can I have one or maybe two cards for the card of the day that is flipped while I'm shuffling? Sometimes you have to be specific for your request. Y'all keep, ooh, I'm already channeling. Y'all keep asking for shit. You want a good man. You want a good woman. You want a great partner. You want loyal. This and that and third. But you didn't say that you didn't want them to be monogamous. You didn't say, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. You didn't say, oh, I want a car. They give you a car. You didn't say the car had to be running. 
You didn't say that, oh, I want a new house. You didn't say the house had to be brand new and turnkey. Be specific with your request. Be specific. And why? Because we have the card of the day is called Endless Possibilities. Be specific. Be specific. All right. So I don't know who that's for, but y'all have to start being specific when you're asking for things and placing those intentions out there. What do you want? What color is it? How does it look? How does it feel? How does it taste? How does it smell? Be specific in your request. So the key concept is unlimited potential, moving on beyond limiting beliefs, and the filter of an unhealed past, using your awareness to discern what is possible and having the courage to leap beyond even that. So it says, you look at the world through the lens of your life experience, personality, and conditioning. That filter determines whether you believe in an abundant universe of endless possibilities or various degrees of limitation and a finite range of options. When your expectations, unconscious or otherwise, are based on lack, it's difficult to see what is truly available to you today ask yourself what you believe are you are there limitless pot my speech impediment is on the roll today are there limitless potential outcomes to align your energy with do you know intuitively that there is more to life than meets the eye and are you willing to act on that knowledge as you believe so it will be for you as your energy will attract its match in the outer world conditions meet expectations either your world remains the way it is in various forms or eventually unchanging or you become more everything shifts as you open yourself up to a greater version of you and a more meaningful life discovering opportunities that better reflect your true self this is the nature of your dynamic relationship with the divine today stand firm with open arms knowing that you're stepping into beauty into experiences that are potent and transformative you're walking past the line that you and others drew long ago leaping over what was and toward what will be you are more than what you were now what is it that you want i just fucking said this is look i'm not making this up what do you want it says now did i point the right did i point the right place now what is it that you want the treasure is yours you just need to believe it what did i just say you have to be specific now what it is that you want confirmation thank you see sometimes you have to be specific like a, like the cards come on you gotta be specific y'all keep saying that you want this and this and this and this but you're not telling me the color the shape the size the feel the touch the smell the taste of it i know many of us have been in a state of lack for a very long time because we live in a patriarchal colonized world colonized fucking colonized our old ways in every ethnicity our every culture, our old ways in every ethnicity, every culture, hear me, has been erased because people want to be in power. People love power more than they love their own lineage, that they own their love traditions, that they own they that they that they want to own and move in places and spaces and just take away because all they're worried about is themselves. There's nothing wrong with looking out for yourself. But there's nothing wrong with having fucking empathy either. You were born with empathy. Everyone's a, When people say, oh, I'm an empath. Everyone's an empath. Sorry to tell it to you, baby girl, baby boo. Everyone is an empath. Not everyone listens to that intuition and not everyone listens to the empathy. The, the same intuition that I got, y'all got. Now, we may be at different levels, but we all got intuition. We all, all got empathy. But you have endless possibilities. Stop being limited. Stop thinking that you only have to work one job and you can't pursue your dream on, on the side and have a side hustle. Hello, I've been doing this work for 14, since I was 14 years old. I've been doing this work for over 35 years. I am an expert in my field because human trajectory tells me that if you've been doing something for 10 to 15 years, it makes you an expert. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. I am 50 now. I am oh, it's over 35 plus years. 36. I'm an expert in this field. And I'm not saying this as a brag. I'm finally, I'm finally getting comfortable saying with that because I lived in a state of life. I grew up with people who always believed that they didn't have enough, that we didn't have to, we have to struggle, we had to survive, we had to hustle. And I understand why, because of where they came from. But that doesn't mean anything today. Because even my shirt, generational curse breaker, my job is to turn generational curses into generational blessings. Y'all talk about, you know having this wealth right have, like you know making this transformative wealth and, and 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 for your family generational wealth that's that's what it is but do you realize that you planting the seed now means that you may not see it in the future generations generational wealth does not mean you're going to get it right now generational wealth is you starting something now so the future generations can benefit doesn't mean you're going to actually see it but your faith can still plant the seed so you have endless possibilities stop being limited you are limitless and let things come to you easily and gracefully stop making it so hard it doesn't have to be that hard i learned that the hard way all right 
I love you. And if you need me, I love to work with you. But as always, please follow your intuition work with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me. Have a great day.